friends behind the lens, can I share with you everything I did this year? First of all, 2023 was a great year, full of blessings and opportunities. I realized that art is such a huge part of me, obviously, it's like my personality. And it's not even my own talent. It's all from God and it's all for God. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen my signature project, the Art History Air Force Ones. Completing these crazy detailed customs is how I started my year in January. However, I couldn't post about them yet. I had to keep it a secret until I could film the perfect reveal in Washington DC the next month. January was also a really painful month for me physically. I developed carpal tunnel syndrome in both wrists and cubital tunnel syndrome in both elbows. This means all 10 of my fingers were affected and painful because I overworked myself for the past three months with painting and just not taking breaks. So learning to slow down, take breaks, and do the correct stretches was crucial. This month, I also had the crazy opportunity to make custom Birkenstocks for Marco, which is one of the artists I looked up to when I first started. He's a well-known YouTuber and artist who makes shoes for many celebrities. Here's the design and here's what he said about them. This is literally insane. I think you're gonna steal my career, but these are amazing. Look how detailed that is. That is insane. Watermelon, got the Marco paint bottle right there. This is insane. So clean. Amazing work. In February, I launched my new website while on vacation. I made it all by myself. I also made my first wedding customs and hand delivered them to my cousin while also on vacation. And when I got back, it was finally time to take my Art History Air Force Ones to the National Gallery of Art with my art history professor and capture all the content I needed. We sat down in the Willard and had a conversation about the whole process and just the design overall. In March, I created these Japanism Air Force One shadows. I invested in a new sewing machine, which is also an embroidery machine. And then in my free time, I made a bunch of unique bucket hats. In April, I painted my car. In May, I did this very exciting collaboration with my friend, Victoria Maxwell Photography. We made a YouTube video of the photo shoot and the custom Stanley that I painted for her. I also completed my second wedding customs, this time on Steve Madden boots with an enchanted garden theme. In June, I took some time to just create art for myself. I made this canvas painting, these plant theme Air Force Ones, I wear them like every day, and these retro Heelys. In July, I decided that I wanted a second source of income, so I got a part-time job as a gymnastics coach. This allowed for more time away from art, more time for stretching, and inspiring kids with my other passion of gymnastics. I created these exotic 2.0 Air Force Ones. 2.0 because if you're an OG Cassie Customs follower or subscriber, you might remember these exotic Air Max. I also had this really cool custom order called the Starry Night Platform Shoes. And yes, those are real fairy lights that I put inside the soles. In August, I couldn't share or post much with my followers because I was working on a secret project for a musical artist. I was painting these custom vinyls that you may have seen the next month. I also finally invested in an iPad Pro in Procreate, so this changed my designing process once I finally figured out how to use it. And we can't forget these Disney-themed sneakers that I painted. In September, I finished the vinyls that I had been painting all of August and I got to surprise the well-known independent music artist named Nick D in his recording studio for his birthday. It was so cool. I even got the opportunity to sit down with him and record a mini podcast talking about the artwork. Fine apple. My guess is upsides. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. There's obviously. a real yeah. swordfish yeah, a real and one. then the yeah. mermen from the album art. Yeah. The mermen. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like this one a lot. And then the Freddy logo is obviously everywhere. Yeah. Freddie had to be the sun, and your family is <laughs> dancing to your music, mm. and your son is pointing to the bee that he drew. Ah, uh, Halladega. 
my favorite. Yeah, you were saying. <laughs> Thank you. You did such a good job. Thank you. And then show your shoes. <laughs> I am currently a sophomore in art college. So at this time, I started my first semester of my sophomore year. And I got really busy really quickly with four classes, my part-time job, and still running Cassie Customs. I made this wire bucket hat though. It was pretty cool. In October, I turned 20 and I hosted a giveaway of my top 20 Angelus products. So you might want to stay tuned if I do that again for my 21st birthday this year. I created these something blue wedding Air Force ones. I love this theme. I wanted to keep them for myself. They're so pretty. And I launched my college art website portfolio called Cassandra's Art. You should go check it out. In November, I completed my first official brand deal with an AR art app called Qpixel. I also made these epic plastic sneakers for a sculpture class. Pretty much exactly. One year after my symptoms of carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel syndrome started, I got healed. I found an amazing group of young women at my new church, and through faith and prayer, I'm so joyful to say that my arms are healed. In December, I participated in a student exhibition with some of my classmate friends. I created these Nature vs. City Air Force Ones as my only Christmas order this year. Currently, I'm in the middle of a very exciting collaboration with my art bestie, Angela, and I'm so excited for you guys to see whatever we come up with. I'm also currently working on this bride and groom wedding disco order. I'm just so blessed to have a bunch of projects and opportunities opportunities lined up for me for the next few months. My orders don't officially open again until mid-February, so mark your calendars for that time if you want a commission request from me. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you in the next video. Sure. It's so good. I think we got it. Put these on my bed. Well, here.